I want justice. And like, it breaks my heart because I can't believe this girl ain't got yet. Like, y'all get people from every day for little stuff. For breaking, y'all get people for breaking and entering. But this girl just sliced my face up and had my face completely hanging. And she, she ain't went to jail yet. It's just, that ain't right. I don't know what they got going on or what's going on, but that ain't right. I was dropping the truck off. So I was going inside the shop. I had already saw her when I was right going in. She was waiting right there in the door. So when I went in, I was going to put the key in the drawer. And I walked past her and she said, excuse you. And I said, excuse me for what? So next thing you know, she pulled her hand back and she hit me. And it was like she hit me in slow motion. I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking about what was going through her head. So we got the fight and then she started. Didn't nobody break it up. She told them, let, me fight, let, let us fight. And they let us fight. So she was hit me. I swung her so hard she ended up on top of the on top of the desk. So she got to hit me with the keyboard and I got to hit her with the charter remote. The computer broke. That's when they was got mad and they was like they broke it up finally. So I went outside. I was still laughing and stuff. I'm like I'm telling my friend Nene. I was gonna tell her I just whooped the girl. So next thing you know, I see everybody coming back out of the shop. I see the girl come. She in front. And I see all the men in the back of her. So next thing you know, I'm thinking she on my door open. I'm thinking she want to fight again. So we fight, but I didn't feel her cut me up. So next thing you know, I saw all this all blood. So I tried to chase. She ran to her car, and I tried to chase. I was like, Nene, get in. So she got in her car, and she sped off, and I was trying to chase the girl. But it was just so much blood coming. It was like blood clots of blood. And so Nene, she finally, she was crying, and she finally convinced me to go to the hospital because... I, I just want to take it. I just couldn't believe I was bleeding like that. Like, I ain't never saw that much blood before. They lost count of the stitches they had to put in my face. She had cut me right here, right here. She cut me right here, right here. And I have a cut right here. So my eye bright on ways. And I just got the feeling back in my arm because all of this was numb. I just had to keep moving and keep moving. And it's, it's just crazy how the police ain't got it yet. Like... I don't see how, because people do little stuff every day, and I don't know what's going on, but that's wrong, and I, that's why black people take stuff in their own hands, because the police don't be doing anything. She always never liked me or been jealous of me, because her daddy, I call my stepdaddy, because he, he raised me, like my real daddy died when I was young, so he, he always raised me. When I was little, she used to get mad and ask him why, why she calling you daddy and stuff. She ain't up fought me before, like when we was about 12 years old, she fought me because of that. But after that, it was like we never saw each other. We saw each other, but it was never no words or no conflicts. But it, it's no excuse for what she did it for because we didn't have no type of beef or anything going on.